In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this incredible interactive PowerPoint presentation all about Aston Martin. The presentation has an interactive menu and I'm gonna show you exactly how that works and even give you the free template to download so that you can play around with this yourself. And as you can see, the presentation has a really amazing looking 3D model. I'm gonna show you where you can go to download your own 3D models so that you can build a presentation just like this with any content that you need. So buckle up and let's get going. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to a website called sketchfab.com. Really amazing place to go for uh, 3D models and you can also download free 3D models. That's a bit of a mouthful to say, but I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna do a very quick search here for Aston Martin. Now there are thousands upon thousands of different 3D car models in here. So if you prefer a Porsche or a Mercedes, please feel free to just download whichever uh, car model you'd like to use in your presentation. Um, but before I look at any of these, I'm gonna go to the license type here and I'm just gonna select the free standard license. So that will refine my search results a little bit more. You can see I actually no longer have the option of downloading the same 3D model that I have in my PowerPoint that you saw at the beginning. So for this, I'm just gonna do something a little bit different. Um, let's go and look for a Porsche instead. I know there's a really, really, some really nice ones in here. So I'm gonna just click on this model. Uh, that will take a second to load. Again, you can use any car that you want for this. This one is really nice and detailed though. So you can grab the screen, you can rotate this around just to fully take a look and make sure you're happy with this. Once you're happy with the 3D model that you found, just go to the download button here just below and download the GLB version of this model. So that should only take a few seconds to do. Just click the download button. That will then be in your downloads folder and ready to use inside PowerPoint. So that's step one complete. Let's head on over to PowerPoint. Okay, so here we are inside PowerPoint. We've only got two slides at the moment. The file that I've made available for you to download in the comments area will be the full working file with multiple slides and a working navigation. But I wanna show you how this is built so that hopefully you can learn how to do it yourself. So on slide one, I've just got the Aston Martin logo. Now on slide two, I've just pulled this together using really simple shapes inside PowerPoint. There is a blurry background image in the background there as well. You can see I've got the Aston Martin logo at the top that you can swap out. And I've just got four menu items that say intro, interior, engineering, and exterior. Now again, if you want to learn how this works and then develop your own version, you can add to this menu uh, as many extra items as you need to. It's really not a problem. The principle of how this is built is going to be exactly the same. Now what we don't have here on this slide, of course, is our 3D model. So I'm gonna go to the insert menu at the top of PowerPoint and next to the 3D models button, I'm gonna click on the drop down and just choose this device. Now that would of course take me to my folders on my computer where I can select the 3D model of my Aston Martin and just drop it onto the slide straight away. Again, any car or object that you downloaded from Sketchfab is absolutely fine for this. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a car. But you can see that I can very, very easily grab these arrows in the center of this model and move this around as much as I like. It works really smoothly inside PowerPoint and it's just really, really nice to work with. So I'm gonna leave this just as a side view for this first menu item, the introduction slide. I would then of course go to these text boxes 
and put in some information. I'm just gonna leave them blank for now. I'll let you fill those in with whatever info you want. Um, but what I'm gonna do on the, on the left-hand side here is just duplicate the slide. And this slide would become our interior slide. So I'm gonna grab this little white line that I've added here just underneath the menu. And I'm gonna slide it along so it's underneath interior. And then I'm going to move the 3D model so that we get a little bit of a better look at the interior of this car. Now it might be a bit tricky to get this perfect. I mean, ideally we'd love to sort of fly right inside the car, um, but there might be a certain angle that we can get to that will work really well. And we can make this much bigger as well. We don't just have to rotate this around uh, like so. We can also make the 3D models much bigger or smaller so that we can get exactly the right view. Once I've done that, I'm gonna right click and just duplicate the slide again. Now this slide would be my engineering slide. So I'm gonna move that little white line again underneath the word engineering. I'm gonna move my model around and maybe this time it would be a view of the front of the car, of course, where the engine would be for engineering. Um, but again, it's entirely up to you. You don't have to follow me exactly. So long as you're just going through these steps, that's the main thing. And then I'm duplicating the slide again. And on the final version, which is exterior, I'll just give this a really nice big look at the outside of the car like so. So I've got all of my slides. One thing I forgot to do there though is grab that white line, move that along to exterior. Perfect. So I've got all of my slides. The car is in different positions. I've moved this little marker here underneath the relevant bits of the navigation. And what I'm gonna do now is make the, act uh, make the actual navigation work properly. So I'm gonna click on the intro text box and inside the insert menu, which I'm still in at the moment, I'm gonna to go to the actions button in the center and I'm gonna choose hyperlink to and then just go down to the slide option and I'm gonna select slide two. So what I'm saying there is every time someone clicks on the intro button, we wanna to travel to slide two. Click okay. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for interior, except this time, I'm gonna choose the next slide along. So I'm gonna to go to the slide option and choose slide three. There was my interior slide, click okay. And then do exactly the same thing for engineering and exterior. So we can fast forward through these. Okay, so now all of the navigation text is set. You can see as I hover over them here in edit mode, they're actually telling me what slide they go to, but I've only done this for slide two. Um, all of the navigation on slides three, four, and five actually wouldn't work at all. You can see as I hover over that, nothing happens. So I just need to copy the text that I've got here onto all of those other slides. So I'm gonna hold the shift key down and grab all of those objects, just do a control C on my keyboard and then go to each slide and delete the ones that are there and paste in the new ones that have all of those settings on them. So it's a little bit fiddly, a little bit time consuming, especially if you've got quite a big menu system as well, but it's well worth it. So there we go. Now I'm on this final slide and you can see as I hover over, they're going to go to the right slides. Now what I need to do, one final step, and this is where the real magic happens with this, is I'm gonna select all of these slide thumbnails on the left-hand side and I'm gonna go to the transitions tab and just make sure that the morph transition is selected. Now the morph transition will give you that really lovely animated movement of the 3D model in between slides. So let's go back to slide one, hit the present button here, and let's click to go to the next slide. And then let's use our mouse here and let's use the navigation. So I'm gonna click on interior 
and there you go this car spins all the way around let's click on engineering car spins all the way around to the front and if I wanted to I could go back let's go back to intro and then let's skip all the way to the end to exterior so because of that morph transition PowerPoint is making the transition between each slide really really seamless it's a fantastic feature and as you can see the morph transition coupled with the 3d models is just a fantastic looking presentation so that's how everything works i hope you found this tutorial useful and i hope you found it quite simple to set up so if you have liked this tutorial, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and there'll be lots more tutorials like this in the future. So thanks for watching, take care, and enjoy building your 3D interactive PowerPoint presentation.